Hi guys, welcome back to my living room. Looks like I'm going to be stuck at home for two weeks because I'm going to be in quarantine. But it's all good, I've got my fishes, I've got my plants, I've got you guys. All I have to do is just stay calm, practice my yoga, and not go crazy with um, sleeping too late, watching a lot of movies on my Netflix. So let's get into it. Downward facing dog, my personal favorite pose ever. To get into a good downward facing dog, normally I start with a tabletop pose. So go into your tabletop. Make sure that your second finger is pointing forward and you're spreading out all your fingers nicely and evenly. Make sure that your elbows are not locked. So the eye of the elbows is still moving in and out. And the shoulders are stacked right on top of the elbows. Elbows stacked on top of the wrists. And make sure you're activating your shoulders. So that means you're pushing the floor away, really activating, working the shoulders, working the arms. Never do this. Don't let it play and don't let it crumble. Make sure you're activating and working every muscle in life. Right here. Okay, the legs. We'll go with the hands, now the legs. Knees will be right under the hips. Make sure that you're hip width apart with the knees. And you want to tuck the toes in the back. Alright. All good? All checked? Here we go. Lift the knees from the floor, push the knees back, ground the heels as much as you can to the floor. It's okay if your heels are here, you can still bend the knees slowly when you melt your heart. Using your exhalation, you're going to push the knees towards the back. And when you do that, the heels get closer to the floor. Do more of that, exhale through and push and melt. Land more of the heels down towards the floor. Now that you're here, what you want to do is you want to melt the heart even further by pushing the floor with the palms, drawing the body back towards the legs. At the same time, you want to also push the feet away from you. So you're sort of like tearing the mat with the palms and the feet. So you're really melting the heart. And what you're stretching here is basically your whole entire body. Feel comfortable, draw the chin up towards the chest and look at your belly or your navel. Everything is stretching now. It feels so good at the same time blood is circulating down to the head. All you need to do is just breathe. Do not forget to breathe. Stay here as long as you like. A few more breaths. One last breath. And once you're done, drop the knees towards the floor. Bring the hips down towards the heels. Sit. Close your eyes. Warrior one, or we rub a dress in our one. What you do is you want to place one foot in front. I'm going to start with the right. Right foot is going to be forward. I'm going to bring my left foot to the back, just lunging the foot to the back. And from here, bend the front knee into a 90 degree. Make sure the knee and the ankle is in the same line. Do not let the knee exceed the ankle or the knee behind the ankle. That's a big no-no. It's only going to hurt your knee. It's going to give you an injury. So make sure the knee and the ankle is in the same line. Now let's move to the back leg. Square the left hip forward. Okay, aligning the hips, aligning the shoulders. Make sure the back foot is flat on the floor, even a little toe is down on the ground. Push your hips forward and a lot of us will have the tendency to arch the back here. Try not to do that because you're only going to hurt your back. Push your tailbone forward, scooping the belly in and you can feel it more in both your legs. Tear the mat apart with both your feet and lift the arms up. Draw the palms together above the head. And if you're comfortable here, just drop the head and look at your thumbs. Squeeze your leg, extend the arms, and enjoy your warrior one. Stay. One more breath. From here, we're going to go straight to warrior two. Same legs, but you're going to open your arms out to the side. Again, make sure that the front knee and the ankle is in the same line. 
thighs are lined with the floor. Mm -hmm. I can already feel it. But the back leg is straight. Arms stretch to the side. Drop the shoulders. And look at your right hand, the front hand, whichever hand that's in front. Drop the shoulders, stay. Smile, breathe. Feeling proud and strong like a warrior. One more breath. That's it. Okay. Now we're going to go to Warrior 3 or Vira Badrasana 3. The hardest warrior of all three. There's only three. Let's start with the right foot down on the floor. I'm just going to do one side. I'm going to do only one side. You can do both. Placing the right foot on the floor. Now lifting the left knee up. Standing on one foot. Rooting that foot down to the floor. Feel super tall. Look at one spot on the ground in front of your mat. Try not to look forward like this. Or up. It's going to just make you wobble. So look down to the floor, find a lot of solidness in here and from here, tilt the body forward, straighten the left leg back, palms together in front of your heart, I'm still looking at that same spot, drop the left leg down so you're squaring the hips, if you're looking down, now point the toes to the floor, if you're looking forward, you can point the toes back, find a lot of balance here, now extend your arms forward, and breathe. Three, two, and one. Slowly come back up. And there you go. You have warrior one, warrior two, warrior three, and your downward facing dog. All very basic poses, but very important poses that a lot of us sometimes get wrong because either we are in a hurry or we're just not thinking about those little, little things. So, do things wholeheartedly and everything will be vibing alright. See you guys again next week. Bye.